So good morning everyone, I am Jen Morzo, your instructor for today and now we will be discussing the interjection. So first let's have our objectives. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to identify what is interjection, to know what is the function and purpose of interjection, and to be able to discuss the three main categories of interjection. So now let's see. What is interjection? Interjection is a word or phrase that is grammatically independent from the words around it. So it mainly expresses feeling rather than meaning. So one of its examples is um, Ouch! The stove is hot. So the interjection in the sentence is the word ouch. So now let's proceed to the six main function of interjection. So this always used to express an emotion related to the main idea of an adjacent cross. So number one, we have greetings. Hey, I haven't seen you in forever. The interjection is hey. Number two, joy. Ah, you got the job. The interjection is the ah. Surprise. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. The interjection is the word, oh my gosh. Approval? Yes, I will marry you. The interjection here is yes. Sorrow? Oh dear, I really wanted her to stay. The interjection is oh dear. And lastly, attention. Listen, I don't want to get into an argument. So the word interjection here is listen. So as a general rule, Interjection should be used sparingly and with specific purpose, or else they tend to overshadow the meaning of one's writing. So, interjection can also function independently, or they can be used individually, such as um, ouch. So, um, you can identify if the person is hurt or not based on the interjection or the express, expression they use. So interjection perform a similar function to hand motions and facial expressions in speech. They add emotion and emphasis to certain ideas. Now let's proceed to the purpose-based sides of interjection. So it can be also grouped based on their meaning and on how they are used in a sentence. So now let's proceed to the three categories of interjection that is used to categorize an interjection's purpose. So number one, we have positive. Number two, we have emotive. And lastly, we have cognitive. So number one, positive expresses a direction or order. So they are often related to an imperative clause. Example, stop, hush, or shoot. Number two, emotive. So expresses an emotion. So they are intended to emphasize the emotion being provoked by proceeding or the following sentence. Example, uh, yay, or yuck. Number three, cognitive. Expresses the thought process of the speaker. So often related to confusion or comprehension. Example, huh? Hmm? Or wow. So typically, cognitive is used when a speaker is processing new information, solving a problem, conducting pieces of information in a novel way, or otherwise deep in talk. Let's proceed to the punctuating interjections. So it may still affect the mood or tone of a sentences depending on how they are punctuated. Examples. Yikes. I wasn't expecting you. Hmm. I didn't think of that. Jeez. It's too cold. Oops. I spilled the milk. Yikes. Jeez. Hmm. And oops are interjections that relay the author's, author's tone or express how the author feels. So another example. Philip. Wait. I haven't finished yet. Number two, at last, the food is served. In the first example, 
wait, wait makes a pause in the sentence cautioning belief, while in the second example at last conveys a feeling of satisfaction that the food is served. So again, I am Janeline Ibarzo, your demo teaching instructor for today, and this is where my demo ends. Again, thank you for watching.